What's up, Bills Mafia? You know what they say. Actions speak louder than words. But before we get to that, let's get to that intro. Welcome to the Mafia Sports Report. I am Tommy. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell because I always forget to tell you. Well, Bills Mafia, last night they want you to believe this. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right, move on. Nothing to see here. Please, this first. Nothing to see here. Please. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot to see, and, and it's not good. Um, and, and once again, I started this off by saying actions speak louder than words, and it's very true. And listen, as 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 a diehard Buffalo Bills fan, I'm I'm just sick of of all the the talk about how things are going to be different, how things are going to change um, from the coaches to the players. Man, uh, I, I've heard it so many times. Uh, you know, it's gone one one year out the other. And, you know, Josh saying all, all season, you know, he needs to do a better job protecting the football. He needs to do a jo better job, uh, you know, putting his, t his team in a, in a better place, right? It, uh, uh, you know, avoiding those stupid turnovers, right? The stupid boneheaded mistakes that he's doing, right? He needs to do a better job, right? He needs to do a better job at giving what the defense, uh, you know, taking what the defense gives him, right? And he week one, here we go. Here's your time to to show that you are understanding that and, and those words are going to, you know, turn into action and they don't, right? Uh, and, and it's very frustrating. And also, same with the coach, same with the head coach, Sean McDermott, who gives you the same bullshit post-game talk every single time, right? Every single time. Can't do that. Can't do the turnovers. Got to look at the film. Got to play better than that. Turnovers, you know, you'll never win a game doing that. Like, really? Yeah, I know. So what are you going to do to correct it? You're in year seven now. Josh is in year six. You both are still making the same mistakes. And you both are telling us what we want to hear, that you're going to correct it, that you're going to fix it. And you haven't. You haven't found a solution. And I know a lot of you guys are saying, oh, Ken Dorsey, listen, Josh Allen, it doesn't matter who they bring in here for Josh Allen. He is the one that needs to make the change. It doesn't matter. You can have a veteran OC in here. Josh still has to be the one to make the change. Y'all remember 2021, Josh Allen threw 15 interceptions with Brian Dable as OC. He threw 14 last year with Ken Dorsey. Turnovers were still very high, guys, with Brian Dable. So I don't want to hear the whole, oh, he needs somebody to settle him down. He needs, you know... He needs this veteran offensive coordinator. No. Josh is going into years. This is year six, right, for Josh Allen. He's not a baby anymore. He's not a rookie. He should know this shit by now. That game last night was 2018 rookie Josh Allen. That's what I expect out of a rookie. Not a six-year player. Not a veteran player. Not a top five quarterback. And I still believe he is. But you can't do that. And it seems like it's repetitive when he gets in these kind of moments on these kind of games, these big stages against good defenses, at least he just, I don't know what he does. He goes into this m mode where it's, he wants to do everything right. He wants to put it all on him and you can't do that. You have a team here. You got it. You got to, you got to respect your teammates. And he's not doing that. He's just not. Him running, uh, by the way, last night, when he could have went out of uh, out of bounds on the sideline at one point, and he wants to fight for one more yard for unnecessary, by the way. Didn't even need the extra yard. 
one, he, one, he's he 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 could get injured, right? You're costing your team. You're costing your you're, you're costing your team big time. Two, you can fumble for one yard. Sean McDermott's on the sideline saying, "What are you doing? Use your brain. What the what are you doing?" And I, I'm to the point where I just think Josh is going to be Josh. This is who we. This is who he is. And I don't know if you'll change. I'm going to be real with you. All right? I'm going to be real with you. Question. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Uh, yeah. I, and and this goes out to some of the people <laughs> that maybe don't want to hear that. But I'm going to tell you that. I, 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 I don't see a change. I, I don't. And maybe there, there never will be. Because... We listen, Josh has done this since high school. He's done this since college, right? He's done this in the pros since he's been drafted. And listen, sometimes he makes unbelievable plays where we're like, oh, no, don't do it. And, and it works out. And we're like, yeah. But then there's plays like last night where it's like, don't do it. Oh, shit turn the ball over why are you throwing <laughs> in double and triple coverage why why you, the safety is reading you the whole time last night and you same guy and you continue to throw that ball makes no sense once again not taking what the defense gives you last night there were so many moments where i saw dalton kikade open I saw Trent Sherfield, Trent Sherfield open on a play that he could have hit for 15, 20 yards. Didn't, 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 didn't do it. Uh, Dawson Knox was open a few, a few plays that I saw. Now I, I got to go back, watch the film because I'm sure there's even more. Um, and listen, the stats are terrible. The stats are so bad. If you want to look at the stats last night, uh, except for Stefan Diggs, who had 10 receptions for 102 yards, 10.2 average touchdown. Had a very, very good game. Stephon Diggs is a top five receiver, in my opinion. I think he's the best route runner in the NFL. Gabe Davis, two receptions. That's terrible. I Now, mind you, I have to go back and look at the film and see if Gabe Davis uh, just was, was covered that good or Josh Allen just wasn't going to him enough. Um, Dalton Kikade. Four receptions, four receptions, 26 yards. Dawson Knox, three receptions, 25 yards. James Cook, four receptions. Damian Harris, two. Latavius Murray, one. Hardy, three early on in the game. Uh, and then running. James Cook, 12 carries, not enough carries. 46 yards, 3.8 average. Josh Allen, six carries, 36 yards. Latavius Murray, two carries, eight yards. Hardy, one carry, four yards. Damian Harris, one carry, three yards. Th though that's 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 not a good stat line, guys. You wanted to improve this running game, right? And you go out and you get Damian Harris. You go out get Murray. You think a James Cook could could you know be that guy second year? All right. You go out and get run blockers, right? And, and McGovern, Osiris Torrance, and this is what we got. And I got to say, too, James Cook, uh, not impressive, not impressed. I, 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 listen, the announcers were, were saying he's having a phenomenal game. Uh, at one point, I'm like, what, what are you watching? No, he's not. He's not having a phenomenal game. Um, I didn't see anything that told me James Cook <clears throat> is, R, is an RB1 in the NFL. Saw nothing. Um, and mind you, it's week one. I get it. I get it. Maybe James Cook could turn this around, but he is just too light for me. Uh, he gets tackled with ease. He doesn't shut off tackles at all. Um, his speed, he has good speed, but I don't think it's electric speed. I didn't see anything that was like wowing, right? He got to the edge, got caught. Um, yeah, just not, just not very unimpressive uh, last night from James Cook. Uh, I wanted to see Murray a little bit more. I'll be honest with you. <clears throat> a bigger back. Um, still has some speed. And I, I felt like, you know, in between the tackles, 
he's a better option, 100%. And, you know, they just didn't give him the ball much. Um, I thought the second half was was a nightmare. Um, all we needed to do was play smart football. We win that game. And yet, Josh is turning the ball over left and right. The fumble by Josh Allen was was ridiculous. Took his, took his uh, eyes off the ball, won. It was a good snap, in my opinion. Hit him right in the damn chest area. Then he gets the ball. Cool. Fall down on it, bro. There was no need for you to start trucking it up the middle on that defense, especially that defense. You know those dudes can hit. You know those dudes are fast. You know those dudes are big boys. They're coming after you. Fall the fuck down on the football. Take the, take the loss of yards. That's fine. Take the loss of down. Whatever. Live to see another play. Instead, you want to play hero ball. And this is that that's exactly what happens. Exactly what happens. By the way, through three interceptions, almost through four. Right? If if the guy didn't, if the if, if the safety or was it the linebacker, forget who it was, didn't drop the ball. Uh it, it was it was it was uh it was bad. It was really, really bad, really bad performance. And, and, and you know, Josh Allen came out, said this, by the way. Uh we'll play it real quick for you. Four turnovers. Um, was that something that he did, or is that just you maybe forcing the ball, trying to force the ball in a little bit? Yeah, trying to force the ball. Um, <sighs> yeah, same shit, same place, different day. Same shit, different place, different day. <sighs> Josh, man. So. We go to we go from losing to Cincinnati in the playoffs at home, right? You would think after that game, that that terrible performance by the whole team, it wasn't just Josh, that you would learn from that game, right? Um, and and you would come out week one swinging, right, and, and showing that you that you uh, learn from your mistakes, that that what you told us is going to show on the football field. Monday night and it didn't, it, it was, it was, it was bad. And I got to say too, real quick, shout out to the jets. They may have talked all that shit. The jets, uh, fan base, the jets team, but they, they put their actions on the field. The Buffalo bills did not. So I have to give them credit because I told you guys pregame actions speak louder than words. And I meant that. And the, you know, and the one thing about the Buffalo bills, we don't, we don't talk a lot of shit. The Bills, I'm saying, all right? They don't. They 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 give a lot of respect to every football team they play, right? And I got to be honest with you. I think they give too much respect. I think they get I think they respected way way give, give they gave the Jets way too much respect. And maybe that's what cost them. Maybe. I'm just saying that that could be another reason. Because I felt like at times they were playing scared. Scared football. On offense, not defense. Defense, by the way, played very good last night. I don't think it played great because the run defense still is atrocious. Tro uh, terrible, terrible, terrible. Big runs over and over. By the way, if the Jets if the Jets continue to run last night and they went away from it a lot of times, I think they get way more points if they, if they continue to run. They went away from the run, and I think that kind of cost them because we, we, we had no really no answer for the run. At times we did, we didn't, uh, and they, they went away from it. And I think, I think that was a mistake on the jets part. If I'm the jets coordinator, I'm watching that film moving forward. Because by the way, Aaron Rodgers out for the season, torn Achilles done. You got to deal with Zach Wilson. Now, Zach Wilson, I'm sorry. Jets fans talk all the trash you want. Zach Wilson, no two and oh against the bills. He's not a good quarterback. I'm sorry. He's not a good quarterback. And you guys listen, you have to admit that to yourselves. Stop lying to yourselves. He's not good. If I'm the Jets offensive coordinator, I am making that team a run-heavy team moving forward. You have no Aaron Rodgers now. I I'm making that a uh, run-heavy fucking team. You got two dynamic running backs, Brees Hall and Dalvin Cook. I am running it. I am running it all day long, man. That's what I'm doing. And, and hope that you could put enough points up 
And I know your defense will keep you in the games, and, and maybe that will get you to the playoffs. I don't know. But I'm going to tell you, you're, you're in trouble it, 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 right now with, with Zach Wilson. So, it, it, like I said, if I'm the Jets, I'm, I'm, I'm really leaning towards the run. But back on the Bills. Um, Ken Dorsey. Let's talk Ken Dorsey, who I've been um, supporting, who I've said, hey, give this dude a break. It's his first season as OC last year. Thought he did good. I didn't think he did great, but we finished top five in offense, second in scoring. All right. I'm not going to hate a guy that did that, but I can't, I can't keep supporting a guy or, or, or defending a guy that also is making the same mistakes over and over. And last night there was no in-game adjustments. You know what the Jets defense brings. We played them twice last year. There, this is no surprise what they do, what they have, who they have on the field. And we struggled last year with them offensively. You would think Ken Dorsey had a better plan going into Monday night. He did not. He didn't. You had time to adjust during the game. You didn't. Um. The overtime second down, second and 15 call. The draw play, running back, draw, draw to the running back, terrible. What are you doing? Running the ball in second and 15, a draw? What? What are you doing? <laughs> now you now you want to run the ball? <laughs> Bad call. Terrible call. I can't defend that. I can't defend that. And I love the dude. I think Ken Dorsey could still be a good OC, but I can't defend that. Um, I can't defend some of the play calling last night. Very, very, very vanilla. Very, uh, almost looked like a scared team at times to take to you know to take chances to be creative on offense. There was no motions at all. Um, you got all these weapons in the in, in the off season. That were not used. Trent Sherfield had zero targets last night. None. I, The guy that everybody's been preaching up, including myself, and rightfully so, he had a good training camp, good preseason. We didn't use him. We didn't take, we, we, we just totally, Josh Allen just said, oh, what, who the hell's Trent Sherfield? I didn't even know this guy was on the team. He's on the team. Coach, choose this guy. Right, Don Kike, who's this this guy that we want to use so much in the offense, the security blanket, right, for Josh Allen. I mean, what did Josh go to him four times? It's not enough. It's not enough. Um, and I know Diggs was 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 the man last night for us, but at times I felt like he was all he was forcing it to Diggs. Uh, his throws were, were Josh Allen's throws, by the way, too, were 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 a lot were behind receivers, overthrown. You know, just 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 bad. I also felt like at times players it was there's miscommunication on the field. That one deep play to Gabe Davis, nice throw, nice catch, but Diggs and and Gabe almost hit each other <laughs> in the route. What are you doing? Two receivers in the same spot. Luckily, it worked out, but not good. Uh, Deontay Hardy was used early on. We just totally went away from him. I, I, you know, we have no screen screen game whatsoever. Our run blocking has not changed. It still seems very bad, and and, and I thought it would be better considering McGovern and Torrance. By the way, Torrance, I felt like he did a very good job last night. Once again, got to look at the film, but um, yeah, I thought I thought he handled himself very good. Um, Spencer Brown, once again, another player I've been defending. Uh, I didn't think he played terrible, but he didn't play good. Um, by the way, real quick, on a side note, that turf for the Jets is awful. Awful. Um, when it gets wet out, they got a real problem. On that on that field, and I'm not making excuses um, for my team, my off offensive line how they play, but you can see guys sliding back on that, 
And this was a concern on Sunday night when the Giants played uh, against the Cowboys. They were they were showing, um, I forgot who it was, but it was the next day they were showing video clips of literally like the the turf underneath. The little pebbles were just were just sliding everywhere. And offensive linemen and defensive linemen were saying that it felt like they were uh, playing on a wooden wet floor kitchen floor that's how slippery it was uh they got to fix that uh, honestly that's 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 not safe at all uh for anyone including the jets so by the way they made the jets change the turf in the offseason because they complained about it last year and then the nfl finally said yo this is some shitty ass turf you gotta upgrade and then they upgrade it. it's still bad so whatever you gotta, gotta change that but no excuse uh, for Spencer Brown. Uh, and by the way, Deion Dawkins as well. Uh, you're a pro bowler, man. You did not show up last night, in my opinion. I thought I thought there was times that you just got blown up. Um, it, it, it Not good either. Mitch Morris, I felt, played good. I, I didn't see anything bad from Mitch Morris. I thought Mitch Morris was one of our better offensive linemen with Osiris Torrance. McGovern uh, was okay. Was okay. He got blown up a few times as well. Um yeah, man, and, and, and let's go on defense. Let's go on defense. Um, another thing they've been preaching, tackling, tackling. Got to tackle better. We know we got to tackle better. Poor tackling. Poor, poor tackling once again by these Buffalo Bills uh, players. Love Matt Milano, but, dude, he, he, some, of, some of the things you do out there, man, miss tackling is it, costing the team. You have to wrap up a player. Uh, Shaq Lawson. You're almost there, man. Got to wrap up player, bro. You know, got it, got it, got to make the play. Uh, you know, the guys that showed up last night, Gregory Rousseau, Leonard Floyd, those guys showed up. Ed Oliver, a guy we paid big, big, boom, big money. Nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found last night. Um, you know, I thought Matt Milano did have a good game, though. I'm not, I'm not going to hate on Matt Milano. He does need to work on those missed tackles. Though I gotta say, um, I thought Christian Benford played well last night. Uh, he saved a touchdown run by Brees Hall. Got to give him credit for that. He, hit, you know, we held the Jets at three because of that. Um, I thought Trey White played pretty good. Uh, you know, I, I thought our DBs held their own last night. Um, I thought Jordan Poyer played okay. He again, he had some missed tackles as well. Uh, Micah Hyde, I thought played okay. You know, um, I'm trying to think who else I'm missing. Just, just, just kind of quiet. Uh, you know, as far as the, the front goes, Ed Oliver, uh, Settle, Jones, uh, quiet, quiet, quiet night for them. They, 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 you know, I felt like they should have done a little bit more, especially in run defense. It, it was bad. And, um, Terrell Bernard, middle linebacker. First start, uh, I thought he was okay. Um, he's not the answer, guys. He's not the answer. We need to really hope that Christian Kirksey gets his playbook down and we can see him uh, week three, maybe even next week. I, I don't know. Depends uh, how fast he's learning the playbook, but we need to get him out there. And let's talk coaching. Let's talk head coach Sean McDermott. Um, I Listen, I told you guys from the start of the season, this is my last year, last year with him as far as you know, I'm concerned. Um, now will it be, you know, for the heck for the, for the ownership, would they get rid of Sean McDermott? If he has a, a failure year, a bad year, I don't think so. I, I just don't, they just extended him. Uh, but I think this juggling act he's doing, which he wanted to do, which is defensive coordinator and head coach. Um, I think it's, I think it's a mistake. I do. I really do. I think he needs to reconsider, uh, Having somebody call 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 the defensive, uh, having Washington, you know, um, even call the play. Somebody, somebody else has to call the plays. Um, he, you know, listen. That doesn't mean he can't be involved. Uh, but I, I think that it, it may be taking something away from him. And last night, by the way, too, when Josh was just playing god awful, I didn't see any coach, not even the quarterback coach. Now I could be wrong. Go up to Josh Allen, talk to Josh Allen, you know, 
whatever, you know, Hey man, listen, it's could have, this is what we're doing wrong. What's what we got to do different, right? Don't get your head back in the game. Right. I know. Listen, and you're going to say, Oh, you got to do you. He's not a baby. You can't, you know, you just need anybody to cop. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. He's in, he, listen, every player needs that in my opinion. And Stefan Diggs was the one actually of all people to go up to Josh Allen and be like, yo, we don't settle down, man. You got this. You know who you are. Let's let's do this. And by the way, that was on the drive that got it into overtime. That drive, by the way, was a nice drive. Two minute, two minute offense, up tempo. I was hoping they were going to continue that in overtime when we got the ball first. Up tempo, move the ball quick, get out, get the ball out of Josh Chance quick. Go up tempo, and we didn't do that. We didn't do that at all. And that's, once again, on Ken Dorsey. No in-game adjustments. Nothing. Ran a nice two-minute drive for a field goal. Got us in overtime. Other than that, D was bad. Bad all night. Um, but, yeah, just 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 a terrible, terrible performance, I think, on uh, on, on, the, uh, on the offense. Terrible performance, honestly, on coaching. I think Sean McDermott, um, once again, is just over his head with this. Now, listen, it's week one. I could be overreacting. I get it, right? The, the overreaction Monday, right? Or, well, Tuesday. <laughs> Today's Tuesday, so normally be Monday. But um, it, it's concerning. It really is concerning. I'm a realist. I keep it real. And... Things got to change. You can't keep telling us, you know it, you know what you got to do differently, you know, blah, blah, blah. You want to hear a little bit of Sean McDermott? It's going to be the same old talk. I mean, I'll show it to you, you know, because you're going to be like, oh, okay, same shit. Offensive line against So let, let's go, well, let's go to Sean. He's right here at the end. Here he is. You know, tell me who on the you schematic. You got to make the Um, obviously didn't play our best game tonight. Um, oh. you know, it was, we made it honestly pretty hard on ourselves. We had to turn the ball over four times. Um, it's hard to win in this league and you're all, you're playing two opponents, the one on the other sideline and yourself. And that's what we did tonight. Um, and that's not, that's not the right formula to win games in the NFL. Um, all three phases, right? So you got you got to play complimentary football, and we didn't do that either tonight. Um, so we got to make the adjustments we have to make, and I get ourselves ready in a short week here. Going forward, <laughs> <God. laughs> you better make those adjustments. <laughs> Don't forget to look at the film. <laughs> it's the same. It's the same story, man. It's the same story. Nothing's changed. Um, he preaches. He preaches fundamentals. He preaches not turning the ball over. And it's going one ear out the other uh, for everybody at this point, including the players, apparently, because the players are not are not uh, listening, I guess. Right. And I, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to take. At this point, guys, I don't have the answer. I just know things need to change or this team has to uh, restart at some point because it's not working, right? The formula has not worked. It's gotten us to the playoffs. It's gotten us three consecutive AFC East championships. Love it. But the formula isn't working when it counts. And that's in playoffs. That's in big moment games like this when you're facing the AFC East opponent. The formula is broken. It seems to be broken. And I got to be honest, too. NFL defenses are starting to figure out Josh Allen. Those runs that he used to get away with, you know, taking off, you know, they're not working anymore. Those RPOs, they're not working. NFL defenses are crashing down on Josh Allen. They're getting to Josh Allen now. They're playing Josh Allen's very, very smart. They know what Josh Allen's all about now. 
and they're making him pay for it. And I think that's why you see the turnovers more. That's why you see the fumbles more. Because they know, hey, here's a guy that is wild at times. Here's a guy, when you put pressure on him, he's going to make a boneheaded decision. And we're going to make him pay. Here's a guy that won't slide. Let's go ahead and just strip that ball away. Let's let's pop, let's hit him with everything we got because he's not going to slide. He's not going to go out of bounds, right? It, 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 it's costing the team, Josh. You have to play smarter football in, in, in order for this team to win a Super Bowl. You could not win a Super Bowl like that. You can't do it. It may work in the regular season and get us into the playoffs. But when you go against top teams like this that have a top defense, you're going to get smoked. That's exactly what happened last night. And it's what's happened every single year in the playoffs. Every single year. And I I, I don't have the I I I I don't have the answer anymore, guys. He has to figure it out. He has to play better. He has to be the one that says, okay, I'm I can't keep telling you this. I have to I have to show you that I'm gonna really change, that I'm gonna stop playing uh this the this style football. Right? That I'm not gonna put my team in bad situations. It's up to Josh at this point, guys. You can, It doesn't matter who you bring in as coordinator. He has to be the one to change, period. And I really do believe that uh, they need to get our quarterback coach next to him more often on the sideline, especially when things aren't going right. He has to have somebody to talk to, settle his ass down, honestly. Because I... I, I I saw nobody last night, by the way, with him, like I said earlier. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys today, man. It's just it's just uh, things got to change, man, or, or it's going to be a long season, and, and we're going to be right back in the offseason um, talking this this again, you know, just, just uh, saying what we need, you know, who has to go, who needs to stay, you know, same old shit that we've been doing every offseason. Got something got to change. Something's got to change. Uh, anyways, Bills Mafia, you know I love you. And as always, go Bills. I'm out of here. Peace. Oh my God, I go. He could go all the way. Touchdown! 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 The Bills make me wanna shout. kick your heels up and shout. Throw your hands up and shout. Throw your head back and shout. But come on now, the Bills are making it happen now. Stand up now, come on and shout. Yeah, 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 hey.